Good morning, sweet and lovely people. Today, I want to, I'm going to be talking to us about dreams. It is amazing to me how many people decide in advance that they're going to fall and not reach their dreams. Those of us who believe in God can depend on what he said in the book of Philippians. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. God specializes in walking beyond us. God specializes in walking beyond us. You and I are like rubber. You and I are like rubber bands. We must be useful when we are stretched. Mm -hmm. We must be useful when we are stretched. We do not need more of intellectual power. We need more spiritual power. We do not need more things that are seen. We need more of the things that are unseen. The reason so little is accomplished is generally because so little is attempted. It is not because things are difficult that we do not dare. It is not because things are difficult that we do not dare. It is because we do not dare that things are difficult. The definition of impossible, the definition of impossible, something nobody can do until some, somebody else does it. The definition of impossible, for those of you who believe in impossibility, is something nobody can do until somebody does it. Risk is part of every success plan. Risk is part of every success plan. Yes, you can't succeed if you don't take risk. Yes, you have to push and push. You can't sit down and fold your arms and waiting for mana to fall. Mana is not going to fall anymore. It's not going to fall. Mana will never fall. People who take risk are the people you will lose against. People who take risk are people you will lose against. You can't, you, people who take risk, you can't get to them because they don't believe in impossibility. They believe that everything is possible. And if you're a child of God, you will know that everything is possible through Christ who strengthens us. Who strengthens us. In God's dictionary, there is nothing like impossibility. In God dictionary, there is nothing like impossibility. God specializes in walking beyond us. Yes. You have to walk. You have to, you know, you have to make a move. You have to take that step to achieve what you want. You can't just wake up in the morning and sit down and say, I have a dream, I want to do this, I want to do It's not by words, it's by action. It is not by words, it's by action. Dreamers are not, are not noise makers. Dreamers are not noise makers. There are people who take their time very seriously. You can't sit down and count everything you want to achieve. I want to buy this, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to get... You cannot achieve those things if you don't take a step. Even when you pray, you still need to take a step. You can't just walk, lie down in your room and say, I have prayed, I have prayed, and you now, because you have prayed, or because you have fasted, you now relax, fold your legs and cross them, and believe that manna will fall from heaven. It, also, it, has never, it will not work like that. Okay? It will never work like that. So don't be deceived by someone telling you, uh, you will receive this and you say amen. You will receive that and you say amen. Yes, 
Miracle works. I'm not saying that there is nothing like miracle. Miracle works. But you need to take, you need to make a move. You need to make a move. You don't sit down and close your eyes and be praying and be praying without taking a step. Prayers is very important. But when you pray, that means you have told God what you want to achieve. That's, that means you have told God about your dreams. Then it is, it is not left for you to take a step. When you take a step, Heavenly Father will support your step. It's not God that said he will bless the work of our hands. He said he will bless the work of our hands. What does that mean? That means you are doing something and the Lord will come and bless it. Dreamers are not lazy people. They are people who want to go far in life. How can you go far in life when you don't want to take that bull step, when you don't want to take that risk? You must make that move before you can accomplish everything you want. As you are, as you are making that move, you are going with God. As you are moving with God, God will fight the battles that you cannot fight. And at the end of the day, it will become a testimony. So don't sit down and fold your arms and believe the manna will fall. It's not going to fall again. Go out there. Achieve what you want to achieve. And the Lord will give you the strength to accomplish whatever you want to accomplish on this earth. And as you do that, the Lord will continue to bless you and established you. Have a beautiful day.